Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Very warm welcome to you all today. Um, welcome to all of you uh, worshipping at home and watching online. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome to all of you here in church. Uh, very special welcome to the uh, members of the Bridlington Submarine Association who are here to uh, witness the dedication of their, their standard, their flag. The rules are that unless the flag is uh, dedicated in church and it can't be used uh, ceremonially, so we are delighted that they've asked us to perform that uh, ceremony. And uh, hopefully you at home can at least uh, get a bit of a glimpse of them looking very fine and submarinerish in their uniform. As you see, I have dressed up for the occasion as well, which I don't always on a Sunday morning. There are more of them and they are going to process in later on during the first hymn. Before we go on, let's say this opening prayer and I think we'll say these words all together. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, amen. So a few notices to begin with. I should have said that uh, a very special, uh, two special guests. One uh, is uh, we're delighted to have uh, Councillor, Councillor Liam Dealtree, our mayor, who's uh, lurking at the back, but uh, he's, uh, he's got the chains on, so we know who he is. And uh, Mrs. Dealtree, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes. Uh, and also Cliff Wilson is uh, one of our submarine veterans, and uh, he is going to be saying the... Uh, the words of remembrance later on. He is a veteran of the Second World War. And, sir, I don't think there are very many of you left, so uh, it's a privilege to have you with us. And uh, on behalf of all of us, thank you for you and your com comrades and all you did to serve your country. Exciting times coming up. We have our 10 days of continuous prayer between Ascension and Pentecost starting a week on Thursday, the 13th of May. So for those who don't know, the chapel... Uh, it's been beautifully decorated already to be a, a lovely place of prayer and we're inviting people to come for an hour of prayer at any time in the day or night during those 10 days. This means we have 240 hours of prayer to uh, fill up. Some people will be doing a whole night, a night shift, or they might like just to do an hour or two at night um, or an hour or two during the day. Now you can do it at home but we're really hoping that most people will want to come and do it in the chapel. We think it's safe enough. There'll only be one or at the most two people there at a time. You do need to sign up whether you're doing it at home or in the chapel, in fact, so we know that hour is covered. And Barbara Bancroft will be after you as you try and leave this morning to make sure you've signed up. If you're joining us online, this also includes you. You'll see the, the link on whatever medium you're watching uh, so that you too can book up some time. Please, please do join in. We want to give congratulations to Victoria Hart, uh, known to most of us as Jaden, our bass player's mum, but she is a real player person in her own light, right? And she's just been appointed as head of schools, uh, two little primary schools, Horns and Burton, Hornsey Burton and Skipsey. So we're really chuffed. That's a great promotion. And uh, Victoria, our love and prayers for you as you take on this new responsibility. Almost as exciting as our 10 days of prayer is the fact we have our annual church meeting coming up Monday the 17th of May, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, just a bit of advance warning there. We will be wanting to appoint some new PCC members if anyone would like to stand. Before our first hymn, do we have any birthdays to celebrate coming up? Anyone going to admit to being a year older? No one is saying anything. So during the singing of the first hymn, the standards will process into church. We're going to sing the, uh, the Mariner's hymn, Eternal Father Strong to Save. So uh, do please stand. I'm afraid if you're in church, you only have to hum. But uh, at home, you may make as much noise as the neighbours will tolerate.
please do remain standing for this next dedication section. Now I'm going to ask Cliff to say those words of remembrance for us. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. We are gathered together in the presence and house of God to take part in the hallowing and dedication of the standard of the Bridlington and District Branch Submariners Association established in our town and to witness thereby to the noble ideals and great purposes inspired by Almighty God which animate the members of the Submariners Association. Such purposes being the succor of those of our brothers and sisters who are still serving in our submarine service and those who have served and who have fallen out by the way of life. The care of the widows, orphans and other dependents of those who served. The fostering of fellowship and comradeship amongst all its members. The remembrance of the ideals for which we served and of our fellow citizens who have laid down their lives for us. And also the preservation of true loyalty and devotion to our Queen and country at all times and in all places. To this end, I call upon the members of the Submariners Association and the whole congregation here present to offer humble prayer to Almighty God that he will bless this standard now to be dedicated to his glory and that he will inspire the members of the Submariners Association to carry out with a single heart and devoted purpose the high aims for which they are joined in fellowship. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you, and also with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we do dedicate and set apart this standard, that it may be a sign of our duty towards our Queen and country in the sight of God, and a symbol of the service the Submariners Association is called upon to render. Let us pray. We give you hearty thanks, most merciful Father, that you have put it into the hearts of these your servants to join together in the fellowship of the Submariners Association in this place and to desire to carry out its aims and purposes. Let your fatherly hand ever be over them. Let your Holy Spirit ever be with them. And so guide their meetings that they may set forth your glory and help forward all the great works to which they have given themselves, so that by their witness and their labours, the spirit of love and comradeship among those who have served may be advanced in this place, and loyalty and devotion to queen and country may be established here on a sure foundation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We're going to remain standing. Jesus had among his disciples a number of seafaring men and uh, we're going to sing See the Stricken Boat, the Man Who Calmed the Sea.
Would you like to sit down, please? Another man who had perhaps more experience of the sea than he really had planned was Jonah. And we're just going to watch a, an animation which tells the story of uh, Jonah and how he came a cropper on the sea. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Oh, my. He sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshipped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish, and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. There, wasn't that fun? We've got a, an action song uh, now. Uh, now, some people absolutely love action songs and will enjoy joining in the actions. Others will be horribly embarrassed, and we don't want to embarrass anyone. So do feel free to uh, sit still and not join in at all. And do feel free, if you prefer, to stand up and wave your arms around and so on. So this is a song that's new to all of us. It's called Go, Jonah, Go, Go, Go. But uh, two ladies on the screen will very helpfully show us the actions so this is great fun so join in if you like or just hum or at least tap your feet uh, however you feel uh, you would like so go Jonah go 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 off we go hi everybody I'm Holly this is Ruth we're from snack music and today we're here to show you our actions to go Jonah go 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 and this action here is one that features right throughout the song God told Jonah to go to Nineveh didn't want to go, it was so far. And then the action changes. He really wasn't all that keen. The people are so mean. You must go, Jonah, go, 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 Jonah, go, go, go. Then we go into a twist. And back Jonah to the start. ran away and got on a boat. Storm came up while it was still afloat. New action. Jonah slept while the lightning flashed and the waves all around him crashed. 
Wake Jonah, wake up, wake Jonah, wake him up. And with the gift. Ask your God, Jonah, make it go away. He said, throw me out and all will be okay. They granted him his wish. He was swallowed up by God's big fish. Swim, Jonah, swim, 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 Jonah, swim, swim, swim. Okay, we've got a twin solo. Are you ready? He was missed. New action. He decided to obey God's plan. So the fish bat him up on the dry land. Go, Jonah, go, 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 Jonah, go, go, go. Swap sides for Go Jonah. Go, Jonah, go, 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 Jonah, go, go, go. Go, Jonah, go, 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 Jonah, go, go, go. Wasn't that fun? Chris is going to come and read from the Bible for us, from that story of Jonah. When Jonah was swallowed in the fish, he came to his senses and uh, prayed to God, a very sort of heartwarming, heart-wrenching prayer of uh, someone really crying out from the grave. And uh, anyway, Chris is going to read his words. You'll be pleased this version doesn't have any actions. <laughs> First reading is from Jonah, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Jonah's prayer. From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God and said, In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the depths of the grave, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. You hurled me into the deep and the very heart of the seas, and the currents swirled about me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. I said, I have been banished from your sight, yet I will look again forward your holy temple. The engulfing waters threatened me, the deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head. To the roots of the mountain I sank down. The earth beneath barred me in forever. But you brought my life up from the pit, O Lord my God. When my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idols forfeit the grace that could be theirs. But I, with a song of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will make good. Salvation comes from the Lord. And the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. This is the word of the Lord. Always oh, nice to have a Bible, verb, Bible reading with the word vomit in, don't you think? Many of us have known that experience of turning to the Lord in a time of distress and finding new strength. We are going to stand now, if you would, and the music group are going to lead us in the song Strength Will Rise As We Wait Upon the Lord.
Heavenly Father, we thank you that you do lift us up on wings like eagles when we are in distress and called out to you. We pray that my words would be your words and would speak to us all this, e this morning. Amen. If you'd like to sit down, please. I was uh, looking on uh, the computer yesterday to try to find out a little bit more what life on a submarine is like. I can only imagine it. I've talked to Martin a bit and he's filled me in uh, on the importance of doing what you're told and of being truthful. Um, and there are various blogs if you have a look. Um, one I thought I would share with you, um, it tells, if you want to, basically he's saying, if you want to know and experience life on a sub, you can have a go at recreating it in your own home. So, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, you would like to, you know, smile encouragingly if I sort of hit the mark here or, or frown and shake your head if this is, if this is wrong, but uh, I've got it off the internet, so, you know. Uh, so, this is what you need to do to have the, the true submarine experience at home. Number one, lock the door, close the windows, draw the curtains, tear out the phone, disconnect the internet and chop up your mobile. Number two, turn on the oven with the door open. Set up enough fans so that the whole house is windy. Number three, replace all your lights with 100 watt bulbs and turn them all on. Number four, you may sleep on any shelf you choose. <laughs> Number five, whenever you are not asleep, your shelf bed must be occupied by someone you do not like. <laughs> Number six, you must wear the same clothes a week at a time. You may do laundry once a month. You must sleep with your dirty laundry in a bag in bed with you. Number seven, every week on Saturday morning, you must go to the basement, crawl between the pipes, and clean the same 10 foot by 10, 10 foot area for four hours. Number eight, you may be in the shower for 10 minutes at a time, but you may not run the water for more than 60 seconds. Number nine, you have one week to study the instruction manuals for every appliance, utility, and piece of equipment in your house. At the end of this week, you must be able to quote any passage out of these from memory and pass a written exam. Until you can do this, you must not have access to TV or radio, and you must not sleep for more than three hours at a time, with nine hours awake between sleeping. Number 10, once a week, when you would otherwise be asleep, take your television completely apart and put it back together again. <laughs> Number 11, five days a week, whether you would normally be awake or not, you must pretend to start a fire in your house, put on a gas mask and pretend to put the fire out then study the same instruction manuals for two hours that you studied the first week. Lastly, number 12, continue the above for three months, even though you have only two months worth of food. <laughs> well, I hope that's uh, given a, a little, I see Martin's given me a nod, so that's all right. And guys, when you buy me a drink later, you can tell me what it's really like. So why on earth do people sign up for a life under the ocean wave? assuming they're not just entirely mad. Perhaps it is the sense of adventure. Maybe it's duty, obeying a call. I wonder if one or two are running away from something they want to avoid on land. Once on the sub, as we've just heard, life is incredibly hard. But there is a real bond, a camaraderie. You face hardship and danger together. And it is dangerous. Pipes with high-pressure steam, miles from land and hundreds of feet underwater, and you're living next to a nuclear reactor that's on. <laughs> Is it any coincidence that subs are kind of coffin-shaped? We heard the tragic story in the news just last week, didn't we, of the sub lost off the coast of Bali. 53 lives there. Oh, but the joy, the joy when a tour of duty ends, when you come up for air, reunited with loved ones, it must literally feel like being born to a new life after death. 
We've just heard the story of Jonah. Well, there was definitely disobedience, running away to sea. Nineveh was on land that way, and Tarshish was on the sea about as far as you could go that way. Now, we heard in the story how the sailors on the boat had a real bond, but Jonah was asleep below deck. And when he was thrown overboard, then he was indeed utterly alone. And he was swallowed not by a submarine, but by a great fish. It was his underwater coffin. And then at last, Jonah comes to his senses and prays. From the depths of the grave I called for help, he says. My life was ebbing away. Well, God had mercy, and the fish vomited him up on dry land. Jonah was reborn and lived a new life of obedience in the company of his father God. If only he'd listened and done what he'd been told the first time. And I guess that's true for all of us, isn't it? The Lord Jesus, too, heard God's call, and he obeyed it to the letter. He enjoyed the camaraderie of friends and disciples, but went to the cross entirely alone. He too went to the grave, descended to the dead. Three days it was, just like Jonah's time in the fish. And then he burst to new life, like a diver coming up for air, or a submarine breaking the surface and coming home. That act of obedience, duty and service like no other has brought new life and a new direction to all who will follow him, who hear Jesus' call and obey, who lose their own lives and find his. Amen. We have a chance now to affirm the Christian faith together. Would you please stand? Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. If you'd like to sit down again. Now, uh, Rich, our curate here, has a sea shanty that he wrote a while ago, and uh, we thought it would be great if he'd share that with us now. So here he comes. <laughs> Right, can you hear me? Good, right, okay. Um, thank you ever so much for joining us this morning for this very special service. It really is an honor to be here amongst all of you who've served um, and, and done these amazing things uh, at sea and to be part of this service too. Um, now, this is an all-age service and we'd like to do things a little bit differently, at Emmanuel. And one of the things I've really enjoyed since I've been here is just this connection we have got with the sea. It is an absolutely wonderful place to do ministry. And at the same time, the sea shanty became quite popular. So I kind of thought perhaps we could sort of put the two together and bring the gospel into the sea shanty. So I'm going to do one, but the thing is I don't look very much like a fisherman at the moment. So I might just need a couple of accessories if you'll bear with me. There we go. That might be a little bit more like it. Right. Probably don't quite look exactly like I should if I was going out onto the North Sea. But you know, you get the idea. Slightly less vicar, slightly more seafarer. Right, okay, so we're going to do a sea shanty now. And because we are here in a church and it's a, a public building and we're indoors and we're not allowed to sing, sadly, you are not allowed to join in with me. But you can 
hum along, but you can also clap along as well. So Les is going to give us a beat in a minute, and then we can clap along with a beat. And if you're familiar with the sea shanty that's been in the charts at the minute, it's got this bit that kind of everybody can join in where they go, huh. So let's try a huh, everybody, on the count of three. One, two, three, huh. Brilliant. Okay, so when I put my fist in the air, which will normally come at the end of the verses, then I want you to give me a very loud huh. Right, let's go. Let's have a beat, Les. Off we go. And you can clap along if you like. There once was a man from Galilee, a holy man of God was he. No priest, no scribe, no Pharisee, and Jesus was his name. And one day on the shore of the sea, he called out to my mates and me, and he said, you'll come fishing for me, your lives won't be the same. Oh, you people, come and see the miracle man of Galilee. Drop your nets and join with me, your lives won't be the same. We cast our nets all through the night, and not a tiddler in our sights. But he knew where we'd get a bite, and the nets, they came back full. And then there was a storm at sea, we bailed the water desperately. He walked across and calmed the sea, wind and waves he controlled. Huh! Oh, you people, come and see the miracle man of Galilee. Drop your nets and join with me, your lives won't be the same. He was despised by the powers that be, they marched him up to Calvary. They crucified him on a tree, and all my hope was gone. He healed the blind, and he healed the lame, but on that cross he bore the pain. He took my guilt, and he took my shame, he was the Son of God. Oh, you people, come and see the miracle man of Galilee. Drop your nets and join with me, your lives won't be the same. Then one day on the shores of the sea, a man called to my mates and me, and he said, you come fishing for me, and Jesus was his name. So that's my little sea shanty, I once was blind, but now I see with him I'll share eternity, my life won't be the same. Oh, you people, come and see the miracle man of Galilee, drop your nets and join with me, your lives won't be the same. Huh. Oh, you people, come and see the miracle man of Galilee. Drop your nets and join with me, your lives won't be the same. The risen Lord, he came, and Jesus is his name. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Rich. Jonathan, you've got to follow that. Uh, Jonathan's going to come and lead us in our prayers. You'll see some of the words on the screen and uh, the rest are his. We start with the uh, special prayer for the day, which is called the Collect, and we'll say that together. Risen Christ, your wounds declare your love for the world and the wonder of your risen life. Give us compassion and courage to risk ourselves for those we serve. To glory of God the Father. Amen. So as we uh, remain seated, let's pray. Heavenly Father, creator of the seas, we give you thanks for all your servants who go to sea in ships, especially the day remember the mariners. We thank you for all the good they do in the service of this nation. And remember those who gave their lives fulfilling their duty, both in times of war and of peace. The, uh, we now have a, the, what's called the Submariner Prayer. O oh, Father, hear our prayer to thee for your humble servants beneath the sea. The depths of oceans, as oft they stray, 
so far from night, so far from day. We'd ask your guiding light to glow, to make their journey safe below. Please, oft times, grant them patient mind, then ere the darkness won't them blind. They seek thy protection from the deep. Please grant them peace where'er they sleep. Of their homes and loved ones far away, we ask you care for them each day until they surface once again to drink the air and feel the rain we ask your guiding hand to show a safe progression sure and slow dear lord please hear our prayer to thee for humble servants beneath the sea amen now our church of england prayer for the men and women of our armed forces and navy Army and Royal Air Force. <clears throat> Holy God, the protector of all who trust in you, grant the armed force of the crown and all who seek you the assurance of your presence, the knowledge of your love and the guidance of your Holy Spirit. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations. Let your mercy rule all that we do. Be with all who defend your truth and your peace, that they may vanquish injustice and wrong. Give wisdom to leaders and commanders they may be a force for good in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those working in unseen places in the world, in diplomacy, intelligence, and in those who work behind the scenes in media, education, and law that you would prosper the good, Lord, and thwart evil. Today we also pray for countries facing disasters beyond their strength, Yemen, India, Brazil, many poor countries which never reached the news coping with COVID without adequate vaccines or medicines. Lord, have mercy, we pray. We also pray for those who are sad today in our community, when our families. Pray especially for Mavis, who lost her sister Joan, and pray for her daughters, Anne and Linda, today. But we pray for any known to us who struggle with anxiety or guilt, illness or pain. Let's bring them to God in our hearts now. Let us pray for them and for one another as we say the prayer Jesus taught his disciples, which will come on the screen, the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. 
This is the point in the service at which we pass around the virtual offering baskets. Thank you to all those who contribute towards this uh, ongoing work of uh, this church and this parish. Um, for those of us in church, you will find a, a basket on a little table by the door on the way out. If you want to uh, uh, press on your 20 and 50 pound notes, then you'll be very welcome. <laughs> Um, or there are lots of uh, opportunities online. Thank you for all those who contribute in any way. So I'm going to return the standard, and then we are going to sing our final hymn. Would you please stand? The blessing. God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you joy and peace in your faith. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And the national anthem. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save our Queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the, In the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.